In the previous video, I went over a little bit about what an Arduino microcontroller is. Let's talk about it a little more in depth and show you some examples. So here I have the Arduino Uno. It's just one variation of an Arduino board. And a lot of people ask me, well, what does a microcontroller mean? Is that a computer? And the answer is no, it's not a computer. And what's the difference? Well, the difference is a microcontroller runs a set of instructions once. And when it's done, it loops over and over in general. These are reactions to say inputs or outputs. So if I see motion over here, I can trigger something else over there. And I have quite a few pins here, analog and digital. Again, we'll get into the details later on. But what you should understand is that it is fairly simple. Now that doesn't mean you can't do complicated things. I showed you earlier, right? I can make a cell phone with an Arduino. In fact, if you wanna incorporate vision systems, there are cameras like the Pixie Cam. There's LCD screens, you can have MIDI shields. In fact, many of you probably are familiar with this. It's been sitting on my desk. And the reason it's here, this is an Arduino. In fact, it was a Sanguino. You program this the same way you program almost any Arduino. In fact, behind me, I have a whole bunch of Arduino powered projects from my Delta printer and my PrinterMot Junior to my cheer lights that have wireless internet connectivity and can change their lights based on a tweet to an Arduino robotic platform. And even my scrolling LED sign has an Arduino hidden behind it. So as you can see, it's not all about just blinking some simple lights. You can really do some complicated things. In fact, let me show you one of my favorite projects. This is a watch that I built from code and plans online. And it's 3D printed and inside is a little Arduino microcontroller. And right now it's playing a uh, Flappy Bird game. Let's see me try it out here. It's a lot of fun. I was actually heading out to a meeting and I wanted a watch and within about two hours, I was able to print out this case, make a nice duct tape band, throw my Arduino in there and I had a custom watch. So that just shows you that not all projects are about blinking LEDs, which is a common misnomer. You can do some pretty incredible things with Arduino.